the best cities for mechanical engineers and new solutions to treat kidney failure in this episode of Exploration into Technology. Welcome to Exploration into Technology. This week in engineering, it's difficult to name the best city or location for a mechanical engineer to live, but the data related to cities with the best paid mechanical engineers, the highest concentration of related jobs, and the number of engineers employed in 2020, recently released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, could help point mechanical engineers looking for a new opportunity or experience in the right direction. According to BLS, the area with the best pay and top tech companies is the San Jose, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara area of Northern California, followed by second rank San Francisco, Oakland, Hayward area. The state also happens to be second in the country for the most mechanical engineers employed. Michigan is first, according to BLS. The top three metro areas with the highest employment levels of mechanical engineers are Detroit, Warren, Dearborn, Michigan, Los Angeles, Long Beach, Anaheim, California, and Chicago, Naperville, Elgin, Illinois. BLS gets even more granular and names the top 10 metro areas with the highest concentration of jobs. And the top three in this category are California, Lexington Park, Maryland, Detroit, Warren, Dearborn, Michigan, as well as Ann Arbor, Michigan. This episode is brought to you by ASME Learning and Development Corporate Training. Get comprehensive team training from subject matter experts on GD and T B31.3, process piping design, welding, boiler and pressure vessel manufacturing, fitness for service assessment, additive manufacturing, and more. Contact us to create a professional development learning solution that achieves your workforce development goals. End-stage renal disease affects 1.5 to 2 million people worldwide, with a goal to accelerate innovation in the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of kidney diseases Kidney Innovation Accelerator, a public-private partnership between the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the American Society of Nephrology, recently named six winners in its first phase of the Kidney X Artificial Kidney Prize competition. One of the winners is a research team at UC San Francisco that's working on a surgically implanted freestanding bio-artificial kidney to perform most of the organ's natural biological functions. Their two-part device leverages developments in silicon nanotechnology, membrane filtration, and cell science. The body's own blood pressure would power it without using external tubes, tethers, or immunosuppressant drugs. According to the team, the silicon nanotechnology makes it possible to mass-produce reliable, robust, and compact membranes. New molecular coatings for silicon make it blood compatible and protect membranes and functionality. The Kidney X Artificial Kidney Prize competition now enters its second phase, where eligible entrants are invited to submit prototypes that are ready for integration with an artificial kidney. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Now, please remember to click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.